What's up guys and welcome. So today we're going to do a quick tutorial of how to set up and use SRS Simple Radio Standalone. Okay then guys, so first thing you want to do is come to the Eagle Dynamics website and we're going to go down to the mod section. So okay, mods and apps, and we're going to just going to scroll down and we're going to look for the uh, thread that's about Simple Radio. So as you can see, I've already read it. However, we're going to go to the last page of that and try and find the most recent file. And there we go. So we've got 1.5, yep, yeah, 1.5.4. So that's our recent version. So then we're going to uh, hit the download link where it says download latest release. Okay, so from here, we've got a lot of information about the current or this version of SRS. Everything from the change log to any pertinent information that we may need to know. So it could be used to having a little read about that. Okay, so all we want to do is we want to select the top file and that will download the zip and we'll save it to whatever relative destination you want it. I've just put it in the downloads file or downloads folder. So now I'm just going to unzip that. And then I'm going to go into that file and I'm just going to look for the installer. So I'm going to open the installer and just press install uh, DCS SRS. From there it'll open up a new folder which is our actual SRS folder. I'm just going to make a quick copy of the shortcut and put it onto the uh, desktop. Conveniently I've already got one of the shortcuts there however I made another one and all I'll do is I'll delete the previous one and rename that one. So that was the old one so I'll just quickly delete that and I'll just rename this one and then we'll get into it. Okay so all I'm going to do now is open that up. Ideally you want to run everything as administrator if possible and then we've, we've basically got this screen now so this is our basic sort of UI. First we'll go through set the controls so I've got radios or whatever radios I've got, one, two, three of what I'm going to use. All I'm going to do is uh, set a control so I press the set button and then press whatever relative key to operate that radio. So I'll do the same for all three radios that I want to set. Okay, and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to go through a couple of settings. So we've got, okay, so first thing we've got is the auto connect prompt. So basically what this is going to do is prompt us if we go into a server that uses the uh, SRS and it's going to prompt us to join that SRS channel. So ideally I always have that set on. Uh, going through other pertinent stuff, so the radio radio effects for the start and end basically gives us a nice sort of like clipping sound at the beginning and the end of every transmission that we send. Other things, radio switch to use as PTT, that's really useful, so that way whatever button you've set for to utilise radio 1, 2, 3 or so forth, that can also work as a press to talk, so you can use that button to speak on that radio as well. Uh, radio voice effects, that's also something, it just makes your voice sound like you're talking on a radio, so it's, it's good for the sort of immersion benefit. And really the most pertinent things we want here is to set our radio audio channel, so if you're using headphones for instance I set radio 1 to be left ear, radio 2 to be right ear, radio 3 to be both and I also have intercom as both if you're using a vehicle that utilises an intercom system. They're the real main controls that we're worried about at the moment. So from here we can go back to the general tab and we can go through setting our microphone so we use the drop down menu to select whatever microphone we want to use. Same with the speakers and as you can see underneath we've also got a speaker sort of gain meter as such. So it's just a little boost for the speaker. Um, really, until you actually get on and start testing it, you won't know if you require a boost on your speaker or not. Okay, so connect, disconnect that speaker itself. Whatever IP we've got in, that's going to connect to that IP address. However, we'll go through IP addresses in a moment. Okay, so if we go onto the favourites, we can now set our favourite IP. So the IP we've got there is the one for the RAF Air server, so that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm just going to quickly copy that. And then we'll just go through how to set it. So if we go into the server address and we paste that or whatever server you want to use, give it a name. So I'm going to give it RFA UK. And then I'm just going to press the add button. If you have any sort of coalition passwords, then you can throw it in as well. However, it's not pertinent for me. So press the plus button and you'll see that that will then show up in the list. If we want to remove something from the list, all we've got to do is to make sure that the flag icon is on that relative server. So I'm going to do it with the top one as I've just made the other one. So we've got that one selected and we press remove selected, that's going to delete it. Then all we want to do is have the flag showing on whatever radio frequency or whatever SRS channel we want as our default server. 
Okay, so from here we've got another couple of menus, so we can now drop down into the server menu and actually select any of our presets. And then we can go into the radio menu, so this is what a lot of people have this display in when they're playing the game. However, as you can see, the three unknowns, they specify for each radio, same as the AWACS panel. All the unknowns will, is a radio channel effectively. When you go into the game and you're connected, it will then show a frequency there, which you can alter if you see fit. However, we'll get to that in a moment. Okay, so here we are, ridden F-18 on a deck of the USS Dennis, and we've got our radio panel up. So as you can see, we're started up, and we've got our radio. So if I select a radio channel, you can see that the radio channel corresponds with the Radio 1 box, or the top box in the um, radio overlay. If I change that, it will also change. So if I go through the preset frequencies, even if I set a manual frequency, which we'll try in a moment, you'll see it change for that as well. So going through different radio channels, got to the manual one, I'll reset a different frequency, so I'll go for one, two, four, decimal zero. And then I'll press enter and you'll see that change on the radio, so that's showing us that we've got a good connection and we are interlinked with the game. Okay, so what you can see is a traffic light system. Green means that's the radio we've used last, amber is a, is a basically our medium or second set of radio, and red is something that's not being used. So as you can see, we've only got the two radios in the Hornet, that's why the third one's showing is unknown. If that green light becomes a bright sort of green LED, that basically means we're transmitting. So that's that's your cue to know that you're talking. As you can hear the microphone click there, that's your transmission effect if you've got to set the start and you'll hear it at the end. So those are those radio effects beginning and end of the radio transmissions. Just gives you a little bit of sort of authenticity or immersion. If we select our radio 2, you'll see the same thing will happen. This time the green has moved to the second radio, meaning that's the one we're talking on. So if you use the radio overlay, it's a good way of keeping track of what radio you're using if you're not sure or if you're just getting used to SRS. It's a really, really simple system to use. However, it works so well for the immersion of the game. I mean, we use it for every time we fly with RF Air, and I know a lot of other servers use it as well. 104, I believe, have got SRS and loads of other servers. It just adds a lot of realism into it. So you set your radios in the aircraft, and it corresponds with SRS then you're talking on that frequency to those people on that same frequency. So that's our quick overview of SRS and a quick look at what the options do, how to use it in-game and how to actually install it. I hope it's been useful guys. Okay, so if you like the video please feel free to subscribe and like and look out for any content in the future. Thank you guys and stay safe.